everybody. Happy, happy, happy Friday. Woof, it's Friday. We made it to the end of the week. Um, yeah, hubby felt a little bit better this morning. He felt better than he did yesterday. Um, the meds seem to be working. He's got like a sinus infection thing. So he um, went back to work today. I do miss him because it was nice having him home. I like when he's home like that. I, I do. I know it's, it's like one of these wife things, but I do. I miss my husband when he's down home and when he's sick, I want to take care of him. And then when he's got to go back to work, I feel sad that he has to go back, but you know, it is what it is. Um, got up this morning. Like I said yesterday, what, what the thing was yesterday is that I went to sleep during the afternoon. My husband and I went to try this new dish from uh, the company Rayo's. Now, Rayo's, let me just explain this to you for all Italian folks, Rayo's, which my husband is Italian. Um, Rayo's restaurant is up on 115th Street or 116th Street, basically up uptown here in Manhattan. It is a famous, famous restaurant. Frank Sinatra used to go there, all famous Italian people. It The building excuse me, the building still stands to this day. Um, not anybody like me or my husband could walk through the door and say, okay, you know, we'd like to be seated. It's not that way, okay? It is a restaurant sometimes if you, it's 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 a restaurant like kind of like who you know or maybe that somebody could get you in or if they already have a table that's reserved for the past 20 years, like if you know them, then they could let you sit there. It's, it's one of those, it is a very upscale Italian restaurant. Okay. So Rayo's also has a market. Okay. And the market, you could buy their gravies, you could buy their sauces, you could buy their pastas. Right now they've been branching out into supermarkets, I see. My stop and shop has had, um, my husband and myself, we buy the jars of Rayo's. Um, my mother-in-law, and I was doing it for the longest time as well. And I can still always go back to doing it because you know what? There is nothing like absolutely fresh um, items. But my mother-in-law used to buy the Rayo's cans, which are the um, whole tomatoes. And I have the grinder. And I think you saw this for the past last few years that I was actually doing the grinding of the tomatoes and making the tomato gravy on its own. Um, those were cans of Rayo's. My mother-in-law, when they stopped making her company of... Uh, the gravy that she was buying for like the past 40 years, she turned to Rayo's. She tried it and she liked their cans. And that's the way she was uh, uh, until her passing. And then I continued it from there. Uh, but right now we've been buying the jars of already done um, gravy sauce, as Italians call it gravy. And um, we, my husband likes the marinara. And it's a good, it's a good flavor. It's, it's, I, I, but I don't ever want to forget how to do the tomatoes on their own. You know, I want to still do with the grinding every so often. I told my husband that, you know, because it's good to keep it, still keep it within the family, still keep in family traditions. My mother-in-law taught me that and that's the way, it, that's the way it is. Um, so what it is, is that they've been branching out into supermarkets. They have a uh, homemade lasagna and my husband and I, we bought the homemade lasagna and yesterday out of nowhere, you know, he's not feeling good. I said, you know, would you like something like a hot dish, but it's going to be not too extravagant. He says, well, what do we got? I said, you know what? Let's try the lasagna. <laughs> so I popped it in the oven and it was, it took an hour and it came out. And you know what? My husband says, you know what? I like this. He says, I like this. Now my mother-in-law used to make homemade lasagna. I mean, she used to make homemade lasagna. I mean, but I have never mastered that lasagna, unfortunately. She did show me how she did. I was working with her in the kitchen quite a few times. She did show me how. Um, she was the type of woman also that would do everything herself. No, get out of here. I got it. I got it. No, go sit down. I got it. I got it. I got it. You ever, you ever deal with those? But you want to offer your help. And then the person kind of would get, you know, like, oh, did anybody help you? No, nobody helped me. You ever get that way? Because sometimes it was like that. It was like, yeah, but I'm standing here. You know, I asked, you know, I offered you help, but it was one of those things. It, now I think back, it was funny. Years, years, years ago, it wasn't funny, but I think about that now, you know, like I, I could get a chuckle out of that. You know, it was one of those Italian things where I got it, I got it, I got it, everybody out of my way. I got it, I got it. You know, they, 
they feel the need to do everything on their own. They feel the need to take care of people on themselves. That's how my mother-in-law always was. So anyway, um, so we, I popped the lasagna yesterday in the oven and my husband actually liked it. I says, okay. My husband says, you know, we could buy it again. I says, well, you know, this is not, I wouldn't consider it an actual sit down meal to sit. I would consider that more pop it in the oven if you want like a quick snack. Like, he could eat half the container, I can eat the other half. It wasn't that big of a container. That's number one. And number two, I says, listen, if I had another one right now, I would pop that sucker in the oven. I would eat this thing on my own. That's how that's how good it was. So I was kind of grateful that he liked, because he's a very picky eater, my husband. But I'm grateful that he literally liked that. So I says, okay, but we could get another one or, or two, uh, possibly for like a snack, this I wouldn't consider like a full sit down meal. I really wouldn't. It's just, I don't know. It was one of those things. But anyway, I'm glad he liked it. Okay. So he's off to work today. I went to the mall. And, you know, it's not that kind of a day to where I go and I want to spend time. I want to go store hopping. I want to spend time. I want to go. I want to hang out. I want to do some scratch offs. You know, during the holidays, it's kind of a very. Uh, how could I say it? With all the with all the action that is going on in this world today, and that's that's uh, that's what I'm calling it. Um, you have to be scared nowadays of where to go. You have to be scared to go into a store. You have to be, you know, a little bit more. I'm a little bit more cautious. I'm I'm a little bit more fearful, to be honest. Especially around the holidays, you know, people are getting mugged in parking lots. People are getting their cars stolen. People are going in and looting the store in broad daylight with police and guards standing there that cannot do anything. And I've seen this on the news, and I'm like, I cannot believe what I'm watching, but they can't do anything. And people are just going, taking stuff, and walking out the door. So I have an uneasy feeling when right now when I go to stores, especially around the holidays. So I said, you know what? Now, my husband ordered something from Box Lunch last week, or was it the week before? No, it was last week. It was, it was about 10, I'll be honest, it was about 10 days ago, including the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. But you know what? Thanksgiving got in the way. So the Thanksgiving holiday kind of slowed everything up. And my husband ordered himself from Box Lunch um, a hockey jersey. It's a Disney hockey jersey. And I had Box Lunch money. So we took that money and we put it toward the jersey. And he just now got it in the mail. So what it is is that we had it sent to Box Lunch. And, of course, I had to go pick it up. Um, I was a little uneasy. I'll be honest with you. As much as I love my stores over there, now is not the time to just, you know, walking through it. You know, it's it's just not it's just not for me right now. I'm very cautious. I, and I get that way. So I said, you know what? Uh, unfortunately, it's raining out and there's no sunshine. Um it's a chilly day, but it's not chilly. I, however, became overdressed and I started sweating. <laughs> so I went to box lunch. I told my husband, I said, you know, your shirt came in. I'm going to box lunch to pick it up. I said, but I'm going to tell you something. I'm getting the hell, I'm getting the hell out of there pronto. He says, oh, okay. So I picked it up and I opened it because he wanted to know how everything was. So I took pictures of, you know, for him and everything. And he, he really did good. Um, this jersey is $59.90. He got it in a 2X and it is an amazing jersey. One of the things that we like about these jerseys are that they are they are embroidered. There's no little plastic patches or anything on it. It is a total embroidered jersey, totally worth the money. And this is the jersey. This is the hockey jersey. Okay. I love that it has the C on it. It's kind of like a captain. If you guys know your hockey. <laughs> love the sleeves over here has a patch. It's a gorgeous patch. Love it. There's Mickey. Love it. This is the front of the jersey. And this is the back of the jersey, which is obviously Mickey and 28. It's really, really embroidered. Let me tell you the difference because, you know, sometimes they have that applique embroidered. Um, it's not really applique because basically what that is is that it's a patch, but it's not totally sewn on. It's, it's like a sticker. This is totally embroidered, and I'll show you why. Because inside is totally stitched, okay? This is the stitching inside, okay? You see the C is stitched. You'll see the Disney name is stitched. It's full, it's full on stitched, okay? 
even the back is totally stitched. And you'll see that you'll see the lead is a little bit better with that. Okay, it is totally full on stitched. Okay, it's not a patch. They really, let me tell you something, they really do a good job with these. I have the WandaVision, um, like a baseball jersey, and I purchased that last year. Or did I purchase it this year? I could have purchased it this year, maybe this year, maybe last year, I don't know. Um, but it's totally sewn, and that's one of the reasons why we like it. So I said to my husband, I said, you're going to order this, you're not going to be sorry. Um, they did not have this at the store, so my, that's why they had talked my husband into ordering it and having it shipped to the store. But it is really an amazing. We got it for about 39 or 40 I believe, I believe it was $40, because I had extra box lunch money. And it is, it is just amazing. I love it. I absolutely love it. And it's just, it's, it's like a right. I mean, my husband owns, we own hockey jerseys. We do. We, we're New York Rangers fans. So we own hockey jerseys, but this is like, really, they really did an amazing job. They really did. They have, um, they also have Mandalorian, which I saw that one in the store on its own. Um, they also have Elsa and, and the Elsa is nice. I wish they came out with these with more characters like Cinderella, um, like my, someone like the princesses. That would be so cool. Um, and I think that is so great. But anyway, it's like 50, what was it again? I believe they're still available on Box Lunch. They're $59.90. I got it, I think, for 40 bucks. So, amazing. And free shipping to the store. Can't go wrong. And then this way, that the package, one of the reasons why I did that is that the package goes to the store. I don't get it lost here at my building. Because right now, there's quite a few packages that are in my mail room, that right by the mailboxes, that I'm... I'm having a feel that, you know, they keep them there too long. They're going to wind up walking out the door. And then the mailmen kind of leave them in the front. When you open the doors to go into the building, there's a, there's a court, you know, a little, um, a little corridor here where you ring the bells to get into the building. So there's the second door, but they leave the boxes right there. Anybody could just walk in and take them out. I'm fearful of this. So anytime, especially around the holidays, I make it a point. I even tell my husband, do not order nothing around the holidays right now this is like a bad time because god forbid if we're not home like like tuesday we were at we were in the city we went to the doctor i was like i would be now that was the day i was actually expecting that special package from miss m my faraway friend and i was like oh my god if i am not home and they leave that freaking box in that in that vestibule I'm going to pass out. So, but anyway, I, I was home in time and I received the box that day. Um, so these are things that I keep on top of, you know. Um, I was in the zone so much the other day, cleaning out that one cabinet that I want to do it again. So I'm going to take this opportunity on this weekend to assess some of the reusable Disney cups. Now, the resort cups. I don't need 50,000 resort cups. I want to keep the special ones. I do have special ones. Maybe I'll do a video of that if I pull if I pull enough of them out over the weekend. I mean, I, have, I still have the original Polynesian. I have the original Contemporary. Um, I have Opening Day of Pop Century, which I do. Those were a, a gift to me, as a matter of fact, because somebody was there that day of the opening. They wound up sending them to me. They says, you know, we'd like to send you. You know, we, we know how much you are. And I was going to Pop Century since it opened in 2003. That's when they did open, 2003. But I, obviously, I wasn't there opening day because I think they opened in December. Um, but I had gotten two cups as a gift. So I keep those. Those are my very special cups. And maybe I'll do that. I don't know. So I want to assess all my cups because you know what started this? Mermaid Straw started this. Yes, I am going to discuss Mermaid Straw. Somebody at Box Lunch, which is all the workers there, there's a girl over there that has a dupe version of Stanley. And it's a cute cup. It's a 40, 40 ounce. The cup is big. But I had explained to her while I was there picking up my husband's jersey about Mermaid Straw. So I did give her the address, the website to Mermaid Straw. And I just want to tell you, <coughs> excuse me. And I just want to tell you that Mermaid Straw also has a store on Amazon. So right now, there is a lot of things on Mermaid Straw that are basically sold out. But swing over to Amazon with their Amazon store, and you'll be able to see some of those things. You'll still be able to obtain some of those cups and everything right now. Right now, like the black one is sold. I want the black one. I really do. I really do. I, I want more of these cups. I really do. I, I, am, I am a fan. I swear by them right now. I really do. So what I've been doing is like telling people about things. And that's, that's why I do this because I like it. I, I, you're not forced to do it, but 
Again, any products that I mention, I am in no way endorsed, no way an ambassador, and no way sponsored by any of these companies. I just like these companies, so I shared it with you. And I shared it with the girl at Boston Lodge, so she wrote everything down. <laughs> And I says, you know, they have a store on Amazon. If you can't get this on the other thing. And then they have a phone app. You can go on the phone app as well. And then you can collect points, you know. And then you could use those points toward, you know, future purchases. So I, I went through the whole thing with her, you know. And that's it. Um, I also want to point out. I'm not nitpicking. But I also want to point out that I wrote the company in private. I wrote certain companies that... Because when I do push, you know, when I do push along their information, I'm doing it out of the goodness of my heart. But at the same time, I like to let the company know that, that I'm doing that anyway. You know, you do have a regular customer. You do have a customer. A customer that doesn't look for anything. A customer that just wants to let you know, hey, you know what? I'm letting my, my people know that I love your product. And that's it. Um, yeah. Could the company say thank you? I'm just going to leave that there. It would be nice. I understand. Maybe it's the holidays. Maybe you're busy now or something. But, you know, we don't have, and, you know, I'm going to say this. I'm not a person that has 10,000 followers. I keep my pages private. I don't like every Tom, Dick, and Harry on my page. I don't like strangers. I don't like trolls. I keep my pages locked and nice and private. I have a nice little group setting, you know, and that's the way I like it. So, um... If these companies seem to be looking for these certain things, then that's on them. But I know I like the product, so I just wanted to put that out there. Anyway, um, I stopped by Gloria and Jean's Coffee to get a peppermint mocha latte, which is awesome. I, right now I'm finishing it. I came home and popped it in the microwave oven a little bit for a few more seconds because it, it was getting a little bit um, room temperature. But it's beautiful. It's it's good. Gloria and John, uh, Gloria and Jeans. I call it Gloria and Johns. I don't know why I feel the need to mispronunciate or give somebody a fancy pronunciation of their name. I have I've been doing that a lot lately. Gloria and Johns, but it's Gloria and Jeans. Okay, it's right here. <laughs> you can see you can see it. Um, not to be too fancy, but anyway. Uh, so it is peppermint mocha latte, and it's very good. You can get it in cold or warm. So I got it in warm. I got it in warm for on the way home. Um, like I said, it's 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 chilly, but it ain't chilly. I shut my heat off. My heat was on. My heat has been doing good for the past three days. It has been doing wonderful. No problems. Knock wood. Knock wood. Um, so right now I have the thermostat off because it's it's it's. It was it was so warm outside. I came in and I was sweating because I had my my heavy jacket on. Oh yeah yeah. Anyway, I'm just gonna enjoy the rest of this. I'm going to see what I can do. Maybe I would like to do some tonight's pizza, so I really don't have to cook anything. Yay! And just wait for my hubby to come home later and enjoy a nice night. Got my tree going here. I put it on. It is slightly twinkling. My poor husband. You know, I have the remote control. And also, when we bought this tree a few years back, I did do a review on this tree. It's up here somewhere on my page. Um, if you backtrack, I think two years. But anyway, um, it has the remote control. And, it, and this, this thing does wonders. It does different colors. It does it does fancy stuff. So when my, my husband, you know, poor husbands, you know, they don't know things like when a wife does something. But when he turned it on, I don't know what the hell he did. I woke up yesterday from that sound sleep. After we ate, I went to sleep at about one, one in the afternoon. I didn't wake up here until like after 5.30. But when I woke up, I thought something was wrong with the tree because it was like... Boop, 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 boop. I says, what did you do? He says, I don't know what I did. He said, I turned it on. I says, well, what button did you hit? He says, I don't know. Which button did I hit? He says, I don't know. I just hit all the buttons until something came on. I went, oh. So I had to reset it to just do ever so slightly little twinkles of lights and all the little lights just twinkle that's the way i want it subdued not like <laughs> Let, let's put it this way years ago my own mommy we used to decorate for the holidays me my mother my father and i used to have a lot of pen pals i had pen pals from all over the world china japan i was very heavy i'm still very heavy into music so 
that's where that came from way before computer folks okay way before a computer and I used to get a lot of Christmas cards, a lot of packages over the years. It was wonderful. My mother and me used to line, the, like, let's say like that door. We used to line the door with all our Christmas cards all along. Yeah, scotch tape back then, which is not a good idea, but we did it anyway. And then before I put the cards up, I would string the doorway with a string of lights. So you had the lights going, you had the cards hanging, every doorway because we had two doorways in our living room. We had the one to, to enter into the house, which you had to right into our living room. Kind of like this one. And then the other door leading into the kitchen. And then another doorway leading into the back bedrooms. So we had all those doorways. Everything was blinking. Then we had the tree blinking. And then we would have the the windows. Everything was blinking. It looked, I swear to you, it looked like Las Vegas. My house looked like Las Vegas. It was like... You come out of there. It was, <laughs> it was an experience. I miss that. I, I I think of those times and I miss that, especially around now, especially around now. I just, I just miss that. So anyway, that was my one little um, flashback, I guess, if you will. But this, this reminded me of that. You know, it's like those days are gone. I understand. But do I have the chutzpah to do that again? I don't think so. But in my home growing up, that's... That was the way we did it. So anyway, my mother would have liked this because my mother would have probably been playing with this all night. It's changing the lights, changing the colors. <laughs> anyway. All right. Let me get going. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Um, it's a nice day. I got a lot of sleep. I really did. And as a matter of fact, I was afraid last night that I wouldn't go back to sleep. I went back to sleep. It was like, okay, it was one of those days. I think it was like really hot in here, basically, because the heat tends to make you, <laughs> you know. And my husband was like, he has cold hands. I said, why are you so cold? It's it's hot as hell in here, you know. <laughs> Just, whatever, whatever. People are, some people are like that. I don't know. The age, I don't know. But anyway, all right. Thank you so much again for hanging out with me. I will talk to you soon. Happy Friday. If anything else interesting pops up, so will I. All right. Love to all. Have a great, great Friday. Be safe out there. Take care. Bye-bye.